Oh dear, I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to get this video done in one go, because five minutes ago when I moved the cars around to put the camera up, that kind of stuff, um, it was beautiful and sunny. I thought, wow, I've got a nice afternoon ahead of me. Now, the moment I've moved the car out, got the camera out, discovered the Volvo's T-shelf, which is here on the front, or it's been here all along. Um, and now I know where I can put my cuppa when I'm working. Same on the back, I imagine. Um, it's clouded over and it looks like there's gonna be a massive storm in a minute, so I'll crack on as much as I can and see where we get through. Well, I've got a couple of jobs to do to this thing. The postman has been, stuff has arrived from, I think it was parts for Volvos or something like, Volvo spares, Volvo spares, I don't know, it's one, one of the Volvo people. People keep recommending me really good Volvo places and I've got two jobs which are both incredibly important. One is utterly essential for the running of the car and the other one is changing the temperature sensor so the engine doesn't burn out. Um, the first one, windscreen wipers for the headlights. I love these kind of mad 1980s things like pop-up headlights and windscreen wipers on your headlights. They're just the best ever. I've no idea if these washers and wipers even work or not, to be perfectly honest. This is possibly the most frivolous 15 quid I've ever spent, or whatever it cost. I don't actually remember what I paid for these. Um, probably not too much money, I hope. Oops, let's sandwich that in there for the moment. Now, I looked on the... Uh, instructions in the handbook and it said that the long side towards the radiator grill one side is just a fraction longer this side is missing completely this side looks very tired indeed in fact there's no i will show you this whoops that this side no longer has any rubber on it whatsoever it's just like a rubber grip with no blade on it so that wasn't going to do any wiping now this is very exciting. I've never done a windscreen wiper on a headlight before. And this has just got a little mounty bar thing in there, which looks like it just pushes in. Oh, there you go. Done. I'll do a close up of the other one. Now I do still have, oh Christ. Well, that's not good. That's actually really annoying because that now means I can't use the wipers on the actual windscreen either because every three or four wipes, it wipes these headlamp ones as well. So that would then gouge into the paint down here. So that's very bad indeed. And now it's raining. Damn, right. Now this is the less important of the two things I've got to do. Well, I imagine it does have some bearing on the good running of the car. This is the sens sensor for the sender to the temperature gauge on the dashboard so I can see if the car is running cool, hot, boiling itself dry or utterly dead already. Uh, it's never worked since I've had the car and I probably should have changed it on day one. But let's make sure, first of all, this is the right part. It looks the same to me. There is the old one with a connector attached to it. And there's the new one which looks very much the same, although I'm told it's quite hard to get a spanner onto the old one. Let's find out. I did manage to give myself a bit of a worry because something online was saying about two different kinds of sensor and this one's got two wires on it. And this one down here has only got one. But the sensor I got came from a Volvo specialist so I'm pretty sure I've got the right part. I just need to work out how on earth to get it out the side of the block. Definitely raining in some more. This is kind of why I started doing the photography channel as well because I'm fed up of being stuck out in the rain. It's quite nice to be able to talk on a sofa sometimes instead. I don't actually know if these work at all. I've never tried them, but that's now pulled away from the light. It's on its hinge to make sure it's not going to scratch the car. That's got its new blade on it. Let's go give them a quick try see if anything actually happens. I've never seen these things working before. That's kind of exciting really, isn't it? <laughs> In a very stupid juvenile kind of way. Oh, I'm happy with that at least. You might be able to hear thunder rolling ominously around me in the distance, which means it's perfect weather for changing these because this is what you may have realized I was trailing sneakily when I was talking about having bought wiper blades for something else when I was dealing with the Alpha yesterday and I said I'd got 
more wiper blades as well as the ill-fitting one that didn't go on the back of that one. I've bought some of these. A 22 and a 20 are apparently the right size to go on the front of one of these. Although I'm not holding a lot of hope out for that because they also said a 20 inch was the right size of the back of one 45.5's rear screen, which it clearly isn't. This is a Denso wiper, bought because it was the cheapest thing on the GSF website. Oh, look at that, swank. I'm gonna have to read some instructions at this point. Blime, oh my, is that meant to be that way? Oh, I think it is. It's flexy, I thought it was broken. Get that. I'm gonna have to go read some instructions here. Come on. Oh, a oh, little plastic tab you want to push to remove these things just snapped off. I can just about get my finger in there, I think. There we go. Get this thing off. I'm gonna give that a little sandpaper because that's quite rusty. Scrap. Let's take these off and do it properly. That's a 14 millimeter spanner on this. And this is a bit scuzzy and horrible, but at least with it taken off, I don't need to mask up the car or anything like that. There we go, that just slides right off. Let's try and hopefully get that back in roughly the right place in a minute. I'll put it on there so I don't lose it. Uh -huh. Genius, Wiley Coyote, super genius. And number two, if I can get some off, that rust is not helping. You can hit stuff you're not using again, that's fine. Again, quite rusty. And quite loose. So that is just resting like half a centimetre above the top of that kind of black fade out line on the screen. So I know when it's that position, it's in the right place again. Keeping that one safe as well. Also a bit, yeah, a bit yucky. The rest of it looks really nice. But just blacken that top it off, that'll look lovely. I do some to use zinc primer for pretty much everything. I only need a tiny, tiny squirt on there. Just to coat that end. And leave that to dry for a minute. sort of a bit more rust proof than regular primer. It seems the only black paint I've got is the tough paint I was using for the engine bay on the Rover, which is very hard and very shiny, and also very thick. And also this Volkswagen black, which is from the Polo, which I talked about in the uh, All My Cars Ever video a couple of days ago. So this is uh, possibly a 20 year old can, or I mean, that's a pretty old bit of uh, CI, sorry, um, consumer, interface graphic on the Halfords can there. I don't think they've used that particular style of pattern for many years. As I don't want to literally watch paint dry, I'll have a go at taking this uh, sensor out while that is drying. So you can watch itself dry. And if people want a watching paint dry channel, I'm happy to do one. Say so in the comments. Right, I've gone and found a glove because that is kind of gr grungy under there. So I can see what I'm doing with the GoPro as well because otherwise you won't see much. So that's what I'm trying to undo. Lift that and then move that, but I need a second hand in there, which I can't do whilst holding a GoPro. There we go. Right, that's out. Let's try and get the 19 mil spanner on there. I have read online, it's quite a tight fit. Online was correct. Yeah, because you can't get the ring end of the spanner over the um, the plug part of the thing. So you're very much on your own. And you're not getting a socket on that either. It looks like it's going to be an easy thing to change, but it really isn't. Let's see what a uh, 25 year old black Halfords paint looks like. <laughs> it looks like it doesn't come out. It doesn't come out as best as it could. This is more a museum piece than an actual usable item these days. <laughs> well, it was fun trying. Let's put it in the sun to dry. Maybe it'll improve while it's drying. I'd probably not. Right, what I've done is an electrical contact. I can't now reach just here. 
which I've taken the plug out of. The idea being, hopefully I can get a spanner on this thing now with a bit more room. I still can't get a spanner on it. This is impossible. How do people do this one? This isn't as much room as a spanner on this thing. I need the 19mm open-ended socket spanner thing to get into it so I can get around that and undo it. That went well. Right, let's go finish putting the wipers on. Right, so they look horrible, but it'll do, it's better than it was before. So let's whoop these on again. Whoop, let's try and get it into the right position. That is the right position. I think it said the longer one went on the driver's side. Don't actually remember. We'll find out in a second. There we go. There we go, that's about right. These springs are ridiculously powerful, so you're gonna be quite careful not to whack it through the glass and uh, lose your windscreen. Now I've not used wipers exactly like these Denso ones before. I've seen very similar ones, but not quite the same. You just lift a little flap up on it, then push it through and pull it back in. And once it's in far enough, you can push the little flap down again. Very new and modern, exciting this. Yeah, push it level. There we go. And on. Let's just check that works. Not only is there no triangle of doom, there's now a much smaller triangle of despair, or corner of despair, in the centre and over to the side. So with old wipers were actually, I think, about that much too short. So, yeah, much improved wiping experience. There's one last thing to be doing today. This is a quick detailer. Just to give a quick mist over to the bodywork here. Ah. No Volvo is complete without a prancing moose on the wing. Let's try and get this straight. It's silly, but I like it. Something I do need to be careful of now is my neighbour, who is, as I've said before, a builder, has been in and actually cleaned out this drain. So now it's water, which is a long way down, rather than mud about 10 centimetres down. So if I lose anything down there, it's gone for good now. So I'm gonna have to be actually careful. Right, I didn't capture any of this on video because for some reason the camera was set to photo mode, not video mode, so when I hit record, it didn't do anything. But basically, in a last ditch attempt to give a complete end to this video with that sensor coming off the engine, I took an old 19 millimeter, well actually three quarters of an inch, but it's basically the same spanner. Uh, adapted it gently with the grinder to make it fit into that tiny space by taking the big kind of large elbowy lump thing off that gives it strength, but does stop it from turning when it's down there in the engine. Uh, I managed to get it on there at last and it kind of wanted to turn, but couldn't get enough grip and I took more off to try and get the bit into the shape better but took too much off had to weld a lump more on um, to make it into back replace what I'd taken off then grind it back flat again and after a lot of faffing around eventually discovered that I couldn't turn it with this <clears throat> what I think I need to do now is go and find myself a 19 millimeter open-ended uh, ring spanner socket adapter thing like a, a flare nut thingy I think they call it um, but there's none available in the shops on the shelf around here. Halfords are open, but only have up to 14 millimeter. JR car parts have got them, I think, but they're only open to the trade. I can find them on eBay and Amazon, but that's a few days away. So that will have to be the end of this video today. Well, this didn't go exactly as I planned today. It was more a blog than a workshop in the end. So all I managed to change was two and a half windscreen wipers and put some very old out of date paint on some wiper blades that 
maybe it may or may not have improved it. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Um, so yeah, next thing to do, apart from in revel in the fact I have a T-shelf. Um, oh, I need to tell you about the uh, Volvo T-shirts and stickers and mugs and things on the Redbubble store. There's a link in the thingy below to side on pictures of this car that you can adorn on any manner of clothing and notebooks and all the other paraphernalia. It looks really, really good. I've, I'm really excited with this one. Um, it's on the Redbubble store. It's not stuff I've got in stock, so I can't show you one. It's, it's print on demand. Um, so yeah, a, sadly I can't show you one just yet until one arrives with me. I need to go mail order a secondhand wiper blade for that one over there, which I'm very annoyed about. I was gonna save that kind of fun for when we finally visited lakes after lockdown and go exploring piles of old Volvos and picking bits we need, but I do actually need that now because I, I can't risk that scratching the paint and damaging the glass. So yeah, um, yeah, unless I take it off, I could actually just take this off because there's a little, whoop dear, that's exactly what I want to be doing. Tiny, tiny nut on there, I think I'll take that off. So that'll, yeah, I'll do that now actually before the end of the video. Then at least if it does start by mistake, it won't damage anything. If you haven't already done this, please hit like, please hit subscribe. It makes a massive difference to the channel and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone.